This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar presenting a workflow to move audio files from Apple Final Cut Pro 10 to Adobe Audition. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to export an XML file from Final Cut, convert it using X to CC, then open it in Adobe Audition. So let's pretend that this is now locked. My edit is done. I may go back and do some color grading, but the timing of my clips is set. With the project selected, go up to File and go to Export XML. An XML file is essentially a text file. There's no media. It just simply points to where the media is stored on your hard disk. And we'll call this Dramatic Scene. You could call it anything you want. You want to make sure that you're, you're outputting the current version. And this shows what we're outputting. And you always want the metadata view set to general. I'm storing it to the desktop because I'm going to trash it as soon as this presentation is over. But normally, I would store my XML files in a place that I could get access to them in the future should I want to. And we'll click Save. At this point, we're done with Final Cut, and we'll put it away. And here is our dramatic scene. If we open this inside, say, Text Edit, right here, you can see that uh, although it's not necessarily human readable, it's a text file. And this text file tells me everything that I need to know about the edit, but it doesn't have the media. So if you copy the XML file to another machine, you'll have the instructions on how the edit was performed, but you won't actually have the media. Now I need to convert it first. Let's go to the App Store. This is what we're going to need to be able to do the conversion. It's an application in the App Store called X to CC. It converts XML from Final Cut 10 to Premiere. And it is made by Intelligent Assistance, and they update it aggressively, so they make sure that it always stays current. You have to use this in order to be able to move XML files from Final Cut to Premiere or to Audition or to anything else that takes a Final Cut 7 XML file. The opposite to go from, say, Premiere to Final Cut 10 is a send to X, S-E-N-D-T-O-X, which is made by the same company, and it takes XML files in the other direction. So X to CC is necessary. So I'm going to take the dramatic scene right here and drop it on top of the X to CC icon. It opens up the XML file and shows me all the roles that I have. Well, I don't need any of the video roles, and I'll explain why in a minute. And I'm going to keep all of my audio roles and click OK. It says, what are you going to call it? I'm going to call it Dramatic Scene, X to CC. Again, save it to the desktop. You can save it anywhere. You can name it anything and click Save. After a few seconds, we now have an Audition or Premiere XML file that's been converted from Final Cut 10 format into Premiere format. And we're done with X to CC. The process of conversion is extremely fast. And for the purpose of audio editing, everything that we need transfers. Now let's start Audition. This is Audition. We go up to File, go down to Open, and we look for on the desktop, dramatic stuff, there it is, that XML file and click Open. All of my audio has now transferred from Final Cut to Audition. We'll make it smaller so we can see what we're working with. But unlike Final Cut, which treats a stereo clip as a single track, here, it brings both channels in on their own track, so I have complete pan control over each of the clips. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to move audio files from Final Cut to Adobe and back. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 262. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.